Miami Marlins have the best future in baseball. Yes, you heard that right, the Miami Marlins. A team who's been at the bottom of standings for the past couple years, who finally made the playoffs last year, they're the team that has the best future in baseball. Pretty much in place with young players at every position that are in the majors, and if not, just shortly behind the majors in AA and AAA. They currently have a handful of veteran pieces that they'll be able to move and bring in younger guys if they choose to do so. Players like Corey Dickerson and Starling Marte who still have tremendous value but aren't going to be a part of the Marlins' long-term plan. Led by Jazz Chisholm and Sixto Sanchez, the Marlins have such a bright future. So we take a look at their pro top prospects. Sixto Sanchez, JJ Blade, Max Meyer, and Jazz Chisholm Jr. All top players with Jazz Chisholm tearing up the MLB so far in his young season. Led by 25-year-old Pablo Lopez, 25-year-old Sandy Alcantara, and 22-year-old Sixto Sanchez, the Marlins have an elite young pitching trio that will help them in the future. Along with top prospect Max Meyer, who was drafted from Minnesota last year in the five-round five draft Jordan to COVID, the Marlins will soon have one of the top pitching rotations in the MLB. With back of the bullpen guys like Yimi Garcia and Nick Nieder, the Marlins bullpen will be amongst elite bullpens as well to go along with their starting pitching. They've gotten a lot younger in recent seasons, losing older players and getting younger ones, as any rebuilding team is expected to do so. But the Marlins front office has been able to acquire guys that will help develop their young talent and win now. Guys like Corey Dickerson, Starling Marte, and Jesus Aguilar are all older players and veterans that are going to help the team win now and bridge until their younger players are ready. When their younger players are ready, they can either move to the bench or they'll have decent value and be traded to acquire more younger talent. Going through by position, the Marlins have their catcher for the future and 28-year-old Jorge Alfaro who has shown signs of improvement in recent seasons as he's been getting better hitting and has always been a top defensive catcher. At first base, they currently have Jesus Aguilar, who is one of the better bats in the league. Although he is increasing in age, he's still been productive so far this season. The Marlins also have 24-year-old prospect Luis Diaz, who is expected to be in the majors this season as a first baseman prospect. He will be the Marlins' future first base prospect, first baseman, as long as his development goes to progress and he can hit as well as the Marlins expect him to hit. He is a left-handed hitter and a lefty at first base. Will definitely have a good enough glove to play the position. At second base, currently the Marlins have Jazz Chisholm, who is more expected to be a shortstop once Miguel Rojas ages or the Marlins move on. Their future second baseman is expected to be Isan Diaz, the 25, the 24-year-old who played in 2019 and struggled at the end of the season. That was his major debut. He was expected to be the starter last season the entire year at second, but opted out due to COVID issues and the Marlins struggling. With COVID at the beginning of the season, he decided not to play at all. At shortstop, the Marlins have Miguel Rojas, and they also have 21-year-old Jose Devers, who's in their farm system. These three guys, Jazz Chisholm, Jose Devers, and Isan Diaz, will fill the positions of shortstop and second base for the Marlins in the future. At third base, Brian Anderson is the Marlins guy. He's been a good third baseman in recent seasons and is continuing to trend upward. He's always been a great defender and can play multiple positions if needed to, and once he gets his bat down, he'll be great for the Marlins in the future. As we move to the outfield, this is where things get more tricky. Marlins have JJ Blade, a star right fielder from Vanderbilt, who is expected to be in the MLB later on this season, and Jesus Sanchez, who is on the Marlins roster currently. He just injured another top prospect. Sanchez and Blade are both lefties and are expected to play their corner outfield. Starling Marte is the current center fielder. He is probably going to have to stay there longer, as the Marlins don't have a really top center field prospect currently, but Blade and Jesus Sanchez will definitely replace Corey Dickerson and Adam Duvall, who just had his two home run game the other day. Center field's clearly the struggle position for the Marlins' future, as we've seen, but all these players that are on their current roster, guys like Miguel Rojas, Adam Duvall, Starling Marte, Jesus Aguilar, and Corey Dickerson are all guys that the Marlins could have the potential to move. There's, these guys aren't going to be tied into the Marlins' future, and they can be moved to bring in a center fielder if one of them has a tremendous start to the season. You could look to see them moved at the deadline. I could see the Marlins possibly targeting Angels outfielder Brandon Marsh or Joe Adele. These two guys are top center field prospects that are expected to be ready in the MLB this season for Brandon Marsh and Joe Adele debuted last season, but the Angels have Mike Trout and Shohei Otani who also plays the outfield. So these guys probably won't get to be center fielders in the Angels for at least for a while. So the Angels, if they find themselves in a position to win now, I could see the Marlins making a move, acquiring one of these guys giving up some guys for their current team that helped the Angels and improve the Marlins' future. The Marlins have five of the MLB Top 100 prospects, and all of them are in the top 60. Sixto Sanchez ranked 13th, J. 
JJ Blood is ranked 17th, Max Myers ranked 24th, Jazz Chisholm is ranked 58th, and Eduardo Cabrera is ranked 60th. While these rankings, in my opinion, aren't that accurate due to guys like Jazz Chisholm and Sixto Sanchez already being in the MLB, they probably shouldn't be on this list anymore. But this is from the start of the season, and this is the MLB.com prospect ranking. The numbers don't really mean much as guys get called up all the time that are lower than other prospects, but the rankings do hold meaning, and it'll show you how good of a farm system the Marlins have. Talent evaluating in baseball is very difficult, as no one would have expected guys like Jameen Mercedes or Akil Badu to have the start of the season they have, as they weren't even top prospects before the season, they kind of came out of nowhere and have shocked the world. This happens a lot in baseball, but we do see that the Marlins have a clear path towards their future, with guys with a lot of talent and that have succeeded at the previous levels and are currently succeeding at the MLB level, like Jazz Chisholm and Sixto Sanchez. This is why I believe the Marlins have the best future in baseball.